Well, today we have a 100% chance of truth with some scattered facts and occasional reality checks. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to a very simple but factual conversation about the climate that doesn't come with a lot of hot air, other than our occasional excerpts from Al Gore. Unfortunately, the crisis is getting much worse, much faster than predicted. Folks, if you're from our generation, then you're not panicked by all this climate alarmism. However, our young children that have grown up in public education especially have been indoctrinated with this. And now, very soon, they're going to be doing their best to try to create panic across all of the United States by using climate hysteria. James O'Keefe with Project Veritas has done some wonderful research behind the scenes. Here you're going to see a conversation that he had with a CNN producer about the intent to use climate to create hysteria across the population of the United States and even across the globe. Announced in her office that once the public is will be open to it, we're going to start focusing mainly on climate. Um, uh, climate like global warming and like that's going to be our next like um, spit it out spit it out um, it's our it's going to be our focus like uh, like our, our focus was to get Trump out of office right without saying it that's what it was right so our next thing is going to be for climate change the truth is the climate is always changing. In fact, the climate goes through trends of warming and cooling periods, and it always has. We've actually only been using instruments to measure the weather since the 1880s. Before that, it was just largely a record in history as to how hot they thought it was or wasn't. But using the study of tree rings, scientists have been able to get a pretty good grasp as to how hot or cool periods were historically. Even the Bible says it's going to be cold and hot. It's going to be summer and winter. Climate is all part of the program, people. NASA tells us that the thing that affects our climate the most is solar activity. Well, that's a big surprise. That big orange gaseous ball of fire in the middle of our universe is what affects our temperatures the most. Well, the truth is there are what's called solar maxima and solar minima. When there is great solar activity, then it's warmer on planet Earth. When there's less solar activity, it's cooler on planet Earth. And NASA knows and science knows that the Earth goes through normal cycles. Consequently, the world gets warmer and the world gets colder. The same scientists that are warning us about a coming ice age are 20 years later reading the same data and warning us about global warming. Why? Because of these cycles. The Mendenhall Glacier is near Juneau, Alaska. As the ice is melting during our current warming period, they're finding evidence that a forest at one time filled this land. As a matter of fact, there's evidence that the Vikings farmed Greenland a thousand years ago. Meaning that a thousand years ago, Greenland was much warmer than it is today. As a matter of fact, the Thames River that passes through the middle of London from 1600s to 1800s would freeze so solidly in the decades between 1600 and 1800 that they would have fairs on the ice in the middle of winter. We all remember the history lessons about George Washington at Valley Forge. Those brutally cold winters were right in the middle of what's called the Little Ice Age. As a matter of fact, scientists have put together a chart of temperatures globally going back the last 2,000 years. And we see that there were periods of time that were even warmer than where we are now. There was the Roman warming period in the first two centuries. There was the medieval warming period. However, we also see the Little Ice Age right there around 1600. You know what's funny? As I'm sure that Julius Caesar didn't have any SUVs. I'm sure that Richard the Lionheart didn't have a fleet of airplanes. So obviously, when you look at history, we see periods where it's warmer and cooler than even as it is today, and it's not because of mankind. It's not because of cows. It's because of warming and cooling cycles as a result of solar activity. That's the way God said it would be, and that's the way it is.
If you found this video to be educational and entertaining, then we ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring that bell.